at the end of the book of Deuteronomy, in Deuteronomy chapter 33, we find that before Moses dies, before he passes away, he gathers all of the children of Israel, the leaders, the tribal leaders, the patriarchs, the elders, and he blesses each tribe individually. Now, they were three tribes in particular that did not cross the Jordan and enter into the promised land to settle because they had already chosen land on that side of the Jordan. And those tribes were Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They're like, hey, I'm sure that the promised land is great, but this land that we just conquered is, is premium land for our family and our cattle and our livestock. So they went to Moses and said, hey, Moses, we want to stay here if that's okay with you. And Moses says, okay, you know, I'll check with God. He checked with God. God said it's fine. And so Moses said, uh, the only stipulation is that you have to cross the Jordan with us and help us conquer that land. And uh, once the land is conquered, you can go back across the Jordan to what you have chosen as your inheritance. Um, but in the meantime, go ahead and set up your, your livestock and your family and let them settle there while you cross over with us and conquer the land. So now the time came for uh, the tribes to be blessed. And this is what Moses said of Gad. Now, I know that this prophetic blessing uh, has been um, – parsed out and uh, has been interpreted in many, many ways, especially trying to figure out who the tribe of Gad is today, that somehow this prophetic blessing that was given by Moses and the one also given at the end of Genesis by Jacob, they're trying to uh, read between the lines of these prophecies and find out maybe who the lost tribe of Gad is today, what people they've settled among and, and, and assimilated themselves into. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to deal with the, the Peshat level, the literal uh, blessing level of Gad. And it says of Gad, he said in verse 20 of chapter 33 of Deuteronomy, Blessed be he who has made Gad so vast. So God is being blessed for increasing Gad's population, increasing Gad's number. It's also a hint of the land that they occupied um, on this particular side of the Jordan. He lies there like a lion, that he has seized the arm and head of the prey. So these, the land um, that they chose as their inheritance was a land filled with giants. Og of Bashan and 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 other Canaanite giants, and yet Gad, along with Reuben and Manasseh, uh, they conquered these these giants and drove them out and occupied the land. So he lies there like a lion that has seized the arm and head of the prey. So who's on the apex of the of the food chain? Um, it's man. We have the power to destroy, kill, wipe out any animal. We are the biggest threat to the top predator uh, out there, which has been called the lion, the king of the beast. And so it, it's as if Gad is symbolized by a lion, and the occupants and the giants of Canaan uh, are, are symbolized by man, by the human being, the only one that can conquer a lion, really. And it says that... Uh, he lies there like a lion. He has seized the arm and head of the prey. The head is the brain. It's the control center. It's, it's, it's the human brain is what puts us over the animals. Um, he has seized the arm and the head of the prey. The arm is the, the, you know, what, what, what you use to make war. It's, it's, it's your, it's your weapon. It's your living weapon. Uh, it, it holds shields, it holds sh swords, and other, other implements of war. He has seized the arm and the head of the prey. Verse 21, he saw that the best should be his, talking about the land, when the princely portion was assigned. So talking about dividing the land between Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh. While the heads of the people were gathered, uh, the tribal leaders making sure it was okay for them to occupy this land and, and who was going to be in charge of this land and lead this land. While the heads of the people were gathered, he carried out the justice of the Lord. 
So it's as if in some way Gad is sort of like the military leader of the tribes that decided to occupy that side of the Jordan of uh, Reuben and Manasseh. And they were kind of the first line of defense because they were known as a warrior tribe. He carried out the justice of the Lord. So not only was he, you know, the military leader, but it's kind of hinting that he was also, you know, just the the leader uh, at large with these other two tribes. He carried out the justice of the Lord and his decrees respecting Israel. Okay, so Israel, we're talking about the other tribes that crossed the Jordan and occupied that land. He carried out the justice of the Lord. And his decrees respecting all Israel. So what was what was the thing that uh, Gad, Reuben, and Manasseh did um, as soon as they were allowed to go back to the land and occupy it? Uh, well, they built an altar. They built an altar as a memorial, not as a sacrificial altar, but, but a memorial altar to remind them that they are part of the tribes of Israel, even though that there's a river that divides them and separates them, that they're still one with those people, that they still observe the same culture, custom, language, and laws, and the same faith and religion, and they have the same God. They did not want themselves nor their descendants to forget that, but when the other tribes on the other side of the Jordan saw this. They thought, oh, they're going into idolatry. As soon as we let them go on their own, they're going to idolatry, separating themselves from us. So they went to investigate this, and they said, no, 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 you got it wrong. This isn't a sacrificial altar. This is a memorial altar. And so it says he carried out the justice of the Lord and the decrees respecting Israel. So just as Judah is called a lion and became the leader of, of um, all Israel, uh, it's almost as if Gad, also being called a lion, became the leader of uh, Reuben and Manasseh on the other side of the Jordan. Hey guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. God bless. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.